As of ARCHICAD 18, elements with a complex structure, like composite walls, slabs, and roofs, profiled columns, and beams and walls, will be imported into MEP programs and model checkers with all the information about their physical geometry. At the same time, if these complex elements include air gaps which do not have physical geometry, these air gap components will not clash with the MEP elements that run through them. Let's see how it works in this short video. Here's a building from a project designed by Rift Architect Studio in Norway called the Nordre Jarlsberg Brygge project. Let's focus on some structural details. The slabs are composite structures. For example, this selected slab has five skins with different materials plus an internal air gap. The air gap behaves as a real non-geometric part of the element. It does not participate in the collision detection, but it's modeled with a building material that has the properties of an air gap. This information about complex elements that include an air gap can be shared with consultants in their engineering applications. Sharing is easy if you use a 3D BIM model and the IFC format. When setting up the IFC model export, find the option you need in the translator settings. You want to define how to export the geometry of complex elements. Should air gaps be exported without geometry or as a solid element? Naturally, the no geometry choice is the default setting. Another setting is also important here. You can export composite skins and the components of profile elements in exploded form. In this example, the composite slab is made up of skins that provide the element's geometry. Exporting the slab with the exploded option enables the target programs to treat the components individually. You can select any component using its particular hotspots or even delete a particular component. For example, a consultant using a structural program may want to delete the non-load-bearing insulation layers. Note, also if you use the exploded option, each exported component will be displayed using the surface colors assigned to its particular building material. This is useful if the target application is a model checker where you can easily distinguish each component by its color. This is how it looks after export to a model checker. Now we will do collision detection between two models, the saved architectural model and an MEP system model that was created based on the first model's complex elements. First, let's check the architectural model in Celebri Model Checker using the BIM coordination checking rule. This lets you do collision detection with an MEP model. In our case, we see the ventilation ducts from the MEP model in the context of our architectural model. A quick check produces the green light. No collisions. Now let's try it with Tecla BIMSight's IFC model checker and see why the models are collision free. You can see the model in two forms for two disciplines. First, the building model, then just the ventilation system. Zoom in to see the details. The ductwork runs through the airspace and the slabs of the architectural model. This airspace is defined to have no geometry, so there's no collision. Now let's compare the models using a rule which checks for any overlap between the element geometries of the two models. Here, the overlap tolerance is set to zero. The algorithm finishes quickly, and no collision is found. Again, the composite elements of the architectural model, here the slabs, model the airspace components accurately, and this airspace behaves as we expect, even in collision detection. This feature, which considers the airspace and complex elements in an intelligent way, is also available in Graphisoft MEP Modeler, used in the native ARCHICAD environment. Here, in ARCHICAD's MEP Modeler work environment, ventilation system elements are converted into intelligent MEP equipment. They're now native ductwork elements. We can see clearly in shaded mode that the ducts run through the airspace the way they're supposed to. 
but let's do a collision detection anyway, here in MEP Modeler. No surprise, the result is the same as in other model checkers. If the architectural model is defined correctly, the MEP system design will not produce collisions. To sum it up, sharing of ARCHICAD models with other disciplines is an intelligent and dependable process. It had better be, because this is a key expectation for OpenBIM, and we can call it the requirement of perfect reference model sharing. ARCHICAD meets and supports this requirement fully.